Uh, oh. I am considering lengthening the pitman arm. And why is that? And, and to do two things. The number one is to is to pull the pitman arm a little bit closer so it runs along the line of the tie rod. Yep. Uh, it not not necessary other than the fact that it would be a little bit nicer, and uh, and it'll make the steering a little bit quicker, yep. and it'll make it a little bit harder to turn, but not much. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. The uh, the the front wishbones are 48 Ford. Uh, they had to be cut and pulled in because of the, the axle is narrow. Yep. Um, the uh, the rear end has had it, those are the 40 Ford housings that you got me. Yep. And and these uh, wishbones are 48 Ford, and they're mounted in the center with the spherical rod end. Yeah. Uh, because we don't have a we don't have a drive shaft like that, you know where it was originally done. Um, the the frame of course is kicked up, and the shock mounts were made and mounted off the wish off the wishbone. Um, the rear uh, the the rear um, spring and and the. Um, Cross member are Model T. Oh, okay. And as are the are the U-bolts. They're Model T. Now, so we put that in there. This is the sway bar that we made up, and that mounts off the Halibrand. Yeah. Um, the drive shaft is done. Um, uh, open drive line, of course. Uh, these are the hanger or the. The exhaust system is all done in stainless. Yep. And this, the, the tailpipes will come off and they go underneath the housing. We didn't try to bring them up and over. Oh, yeah, 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 and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So, uh, so these, these were all the, we, we made up all this stuff here. Uh, these, these parts here, um, we bought we bought these flanges and yep. they get welded and that's what, um, uh, who did that for us was Lori because he's got a, a rig that, that centers them everything. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, uh, and, they, Lori and these are the disc brakes that, that we, we got f from, from Maury. Uh, Maury, no. Your buddy. Rory. Yeah, Rory, yeah, Rory. And they're, and they're off. They're off a um, exploder. Uh, an explorer, yeah. They work. They just bolt right on. So yeah. we got that skinny tires. Uh, these are these are bias supply tires. Yeah, why not? And yeah, they look right. And uh, we're gonna put a put a small cap on them. And uh, and uh, that's the gas tank where we're having. We're gonna just get it finished up and finish the welds on it. Well, there's there's the tailpipe and the mufflers and that kind of stuff. Oh, you can see how the little, you see you see the hangers there. They hang off the. Bench. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the tailpipe just just tucks down there. Oh, there you go. There's the gear set for the rear end. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what we've got in here right now is just four elevens. Four elevens. There you go. <laughs> and and uh, the little transmission is is a five speed automatic. Oh yeah, uh, and it's tiny. Yeah, and and the nice part about it is the floorboards are just flat, and then they kick up to the toe kick. Perfect. There's no hump in them or anything like that. Perfect. And I set up, I set up the uh, the steering column to shift the automatic. Oh, perfect. And, uh, yeah. And it's got a like a lockout when that's up in park. Yeah. And you pull it up. And drop it down, click, 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 and get your, you know, all your gears. Yeah, that's the way to go. Nice and clean. And uh, clean, 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 handmade, everything. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, spectacular. Good work, mate. We made, we.